guys welcome back i'm going to do the next two days in my petite planner here were the first two days just to give you a look back at what i did and now i'm going to do the fourth and the fifth because i have some plans on the fourth so i need to get this put in so that i can write all of my plans in here and get everything good to go all right so i've pulled some stickers over here that i'm going to use i have these stickers that i'm going to use this one and then i have this for my kit that i'm going to put in here so let me pull these back to the side and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up this little calendar here because I'm not gonna use that. So let me take my white out. I'm gonna turn it sideways, hopefully you can still see. And I'm just gonna white this out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, just to cover up most of it. Because the sticker's pretty good that I'm gonna be using to cover it up. Just giving it a little brush on so that the majority of the problems are covered up. And um, then here's the sticker I'm going to use. Actually, two stickers in one. I took this hanging with my squad and put it over the top of one of them that says this weekend because it's not the weekend. And I this was the only box this size that I had. That was the correct color. Okay. So I'm going to put this here because I am going to be hanging with my squad. I'm going to my friend's house. Just taking a look at this because it's a little bit crooked. Oh my gosh. I keep getting like red fingernail polish on everything. Ugh. Give me one second to pull this up and straighten it. I'm going to have to use this instead of my fingernails. One moment. My nails are freshly painted and they keep leaking all over the page. I'm going to have to cover that up with some white There we go. All right. So here we go. We have hanging with my squad on here. Then I'm going to take this really um, tall girl here and put right here to cover that up. So let me pull her off. Because I use all of the large stickers that I have in my petite planner because there's lots of space in here. Give me just a second to get that detached from the page. These are super sticky. I'm going to try to make sure I get this on straight. I'm going to turn it sideways to do that. Maybe even upside down. So, and sorry, I bumped the camera again. I keep doing that. I don't know why. Oh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get this on because, like, it's super sticking to my hands. And if I don't get it down right, it will not come back up. <laughs> All right. Let me hold this up, make sure that's straight. It is. So I'm going to give it a little push down. So here's what the girl looks like. I have a little issues right here, so I'm going to cover that up because that was where my nails left a mark. So I'm just going to use a little white out right here. Then I'll push all that down. Looks a little better. A little bit of white out right here. And I'll give it a rub so it stays flat. All right, so there we go. I really shouldn't have painted my nails red because it keeps leaking. All right, so hanging with my squad. So on top of that, I'm going to put my plans um, that I'm going to do for there, but I'm going to fill out everything first. Now I want to put a little red on the page. I can either use this. I don't think it's quite white enough to cover it up, but I also have these reds. So I think I'm going to use these to cover up the lines here. So give me a second to do that. Let me get this started. I can find the edge. Here it is. And I will put these down. I'm going to start on this side so that I can keep it even. And I'm going to try not to rub my fingernails on it. You know what? I'm going to turn it the other way because I want to make sure that I can stop it in an even spot. I'm trying really hard to get that on there even. Washi is always the hardest one to get down straight. And I probably can't be seen right here. But let me check it. It's almost straight. A little bit crooked at the end. Let's see how we're doing. That looks pretty good. Here's my washi cutter. And I cut it right here, right at the edge. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing to the others. 
Give me just a second. I hope I'm not out of focus or you can't not see. I apologize if so, but I gotta get this just at the right angle to make this work. A little bit more. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this, so I apologize for taking so long. All right, that actually looks pretty straight. A little bit off on the end. There we go. All right, so I'm going to cut this one. And I missed. Oh, well. Close enough, I'll put a sticker somewhere near that. Missed it by a smidgen. Okay, put this last one down over here. Alright, this time I'm going to make sure I go over to smidge. There we go. Alright, so how's that looking so far? Let me make sure I'm in frame. What do you think so far? Looking pretty good? Alright, now we got to put some decoration up here. I have this one here. And I'm going to put it up here. So give me just a second to drop this one in. Oops, bumped my hand. Hooray. And actually, I'm just going to pull it all the way across and then I'll sn snip it right in the middle. It's crooked, so I'll back that off. I'm going to go ahead and tear it right here so I can start back over. And that's crooked. Why? Why? Pretty good. Let me check the straightness. Not straight. Push it down a little. See how that looks. Pretty close. I hate to tear a flag in half, but it's going to be what's going to be. All right. So here we go for the top. Make sure you guys can see that. All right. So that's what the top's going to look like. Then I need to put some more red here, so give me just a second to do that. Trying to get this as quickly as I can without making it crooked. That one's super crooked. Give me just a second to correct that. One more. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. I apologize if you could not. I'm scooting it up just a little bit just in case. We're almost done. Alright, so here we go. Let me make sure we're centered. It's looking pretty good so far. It's looking pretty festive. We got some nice red, white, and blue going on here. Got all the edges pushed down. Now we have our other girl to put over here. So what do you guys think? Should I put the other girl actually over here or is it too much? Because I have these stickers as well. I have one that says USA. I have a watermelon. I have a Let Freedom Ring. Um, I have some that say Me Time. I think I'll put this USA sticker right down here. So I'll put that one there. That'll cover that up. That little blank spot. I guess I will just go ahead and put this other girl in here because otherwise, what do I have a purpose for it? She will literally take up the whole box. But I don't have a lot of stuff going on Tuesday. It, Anyway, because I'm off work that day. So what do you guys think about this spread like this? 
I will put a few more of these things on here and maybe some of these. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm just trying to look around to try to get all of these used. Maybe the balloons will go up here in the corners. Yeah, I think that will actually be great. I'll put this balloon right here. That should stick, but apparently that doesn't want to stick at the bottom. One second and I will fix that. Give me just a second. I'm going to cut a little bit of this clear part off from one of my other sticker kits. So I cut a little piece of clear part off and then I'm going to pull the backing off if I can. I'm trying to get the backing to come off, so bear with me, this might take a second. Okay, so I got the backing and it's clear. So I'm going to stick that over the top of the string. And that will keep that string stuck down. Alright, so I have another balloon right here. I don't know if that string will stick either, but if it doesn't, we know how to fix it. Looks like that string actually stuck. So we're going to leave it sticking down there like that with no issue. So what do you think so far with the spread? Let me make sure you guys can see it all. There we go. Make sure you have it in there. Now, um, let's see what else do we have in here. I have a few random stickers that I would like to put in here. Um, so let's see, I got a watermelon sticker, I got a fun day, I'm going to put the fun day over here if I can. So I'm going to put that in this bottom corner, hope you guys can see that. And then, me time, I'm going to put over here in this corner. To keep that balanced. Then I have a get it girl and a live in the moment. Let's see. Mm, which one do I want to put down? I have fabulous. I have love every day. I have you did it. I have a couple of these up here that I can write to do or whatever on. But I think I'm just going to stick this to do and whatnot straight on here. I still do have a watermelon sticker. I just don't see where I'm going to stick that. So let's leave this like this because I, th I think I'm feeling really good about it. I'm going to hold it up and look at it. I think this is pretty good for my spread for the fourth. Um, let me put some headers on here and let me put my mill plan. All right, so I have the forks. I'll put the fork right here for what I ate. That's where I usually put them is in the second one. So I'll put those on there. So that'll be what I actually had to eat. My to-do list. Actually, let me put a strip of something and put the to-do list. You know what? I got these, so let's use these. I have these, so let's put this right here. Let's scoot them up a little more. I'm gonna turn it sideways so I make sure I get it straight. All right, and I'm gonna put the to-do right here. It's close to straight. And I'll put the two right in that little box. There we go. It's pretty good. And I have one more of those for over here. Let me see if I can get this straight. There we go. That's pretty straight. And I have another to do over here. So let's stick this here. So here's our two to-do lists. Here's my meal plan. Um, I don't see anything on here. No work from home. I do have the day off here, but this is a holiday. So I don't really need anything for that. So I think I'm pretty good. Um, I can leave it like this, I think. Um, because this is, I would like to use these little stickers. Um, love every day. I'm just going to stick this down here. 
because I really just like to use this sticker. I think it's super cute. So I got Love Every Day down here. And then I'll put Fabulous on this side. Just want to make sure it stays straight. There we go. So that gives a little color of blue down there. So I think I'm feeling good about it. I don't see anywhere else to put anything. Do you guys have any suggestions? I'm, I know I'm pretty good. So here is my spread for this time. Now I'm going to pause it. I'm going to write on it. I know we're back. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's what it looks like after the pen. I just quickly wrote in the things that I'm going to be doing um, that I know of for sure. So I'm going to make food for my cookout later. I need. I uh, will have dinner. We're going to be at a cookout. Lunch, I'll probably make stir fry. I'm not sure if I'm going to make pork or chicken, but one of the two. Then uh, for breakfast, we're just going to have something simple because we're going to have a big meal later. And then we're going to go to Christy's house at 6 and for fireworks and fun. Um, we'll probably stay till late. I'm not sure what time, but, you know, until all the fireworks are gone for sure. So probably like 9 or 10 o'clock. Because um, we're going to wait until it gets dark. And it doesn't get dark till around 8 or 9 here. And um, I've got all these things to do in the morning. I'm going to make the cake, decorate it, make rice, um, make salad, and then get ready. Because i got to take all that stuff to her house. And then the next day I just have some, like, errands and basic house chores to do. Things like that in the morning. Here's what I'm likely going to have for dinner and lunch. And then I've got to study all day this day because I didn't study on the 4th. So I've got to study extra to get this stuff done. So I'm going to pull it up closer so you guys can have a closer look. All right. All right, and this is all I have for my um, petite planner for the 4th and the 5th. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time.